Hey everyone, in this video tutorial, we're going to learn how to convert any simple long and short trading system in trading view into intraday module because generally intraday controls, targets, stop loss, trailing stop loss, all those controls may not be available by default in many trading strategy. So particularly if you want to automate with AlgoMojo, any long shot module, this tutorial will guide you how to add those intraday controls, profits, targets, stop loss, different types of target and stop loss and how to execute larger orders. So all those things we're going to discuss in this session. So let's kick start. First, let me go to trading view and then from there I'll go and open a sample strategy here. I'll go to indicators from there. I'll go to technicals and then I'll go to strategies. So let me open a simple strategy, Bollinger Band strategy, which contains long and short trading controls. So the version uh, needs to be version 5. If it is not version 5, then maybe one may need to convert from version 3 to version 4 and version 4 to version 5. Trading view provides an internal conversion tool. In our case, it is already version 5. So first thing is like uh, make a copy of this code make a script copy and then say like Bollinger Band strategy. Uh, uh, at this point in time, if you look into the strategy here, it is only a positional trading strategy. It doesn't have any intraday controls. So we're going to convert this into an intraday control over here with stop loss target and trailing stop loss with intraday controls with automation as well. So let me save the code here. Okay. And then if you go back and see the settings at this point in time, you can see that there's only length and uh, multiply. There are only two controls are there, not much of an intraday controls. So uh, let me first uh, ensure that it is in version five, right? Otherwise uh, it may not be able to implement the code at all. So strip the strategy functionality. We don't need any strategy functions over here. Ensure that your buy entry and sell entry is coded properly. So take a copy of it. Don't, uh, I mean, uh, we can take a copy of this code. Only the coding block, uh, except the version five and strategy. So rest everything, I'm just gonna copy it and I'm gonna open a notepad and then I'm gonna paste it over here. I'm gonna paste only the raw trading strategy formula alone, right? So what are the things I skipped? I skipped the strategy entry strategy close strategy cancel all those blocks i had removed it i removed the strategy and version equal to five also i taken only the raw trading logic part now it is very easy to convert this block into an automation module now go to algomojo portal from here you can reach out to arrow library under the arrow library you can go to trading view modules so these are uh, plug and play modules right now we're going to convert uh, the long and short module into a trading system so i'll go and uh, open the code over here so if you see the code it contains five different blocks and we are pretty much interested with the block four controls over here so it contains the trading strategy and controls Block one contains API controls and API input controls, automated trading API configuration, back testing controls and for block three and block four contains trading strategy. Block five contains intraday function and buy and sell signal mapping. So first step is like copy the code and then uh, replace your code over here. Right. Now go to the top. First thing is like configure your uh, trading strategy name. So give the strategy name over here. Let's say Bollinger Band strategy, Bollinger Band, Algomojo trading strategy with target and stop loss. Give a title also. I'm going to say like uh, Bollinger Band Algomojo. And this module you build for one broker and you can reuse for all the different brokers. So it contains all the supported Algomojo brokers are supported with this format. So you build once and you can reuse the module for all the different brokers. Now uh, block two, nothing to do with that. In block one, one can uh, change the strategy name. Again, here also you have to change the strategy name over here. Algomojo, uh, maybe you can say like uh, Bollinger Band strategy. Bollinger Band strategy is the name I'm giving over here. So I had done the changes of uh, strategy name, short title had changed. And uh, if in case you want trading signals on the close of the bar, you can enable true. 
if you make it false then orders will trigger at the opening of the new bar so block 1 is done block 2 nothing to do with that because it's a default one Not, nothing to touch block 3 is also a default block here also nothing to touch the code the most important block is the uh, block 4 where our trading strategy is there so remove the sample strategy which is provided over here go to our notepad copy the code and add the code to the block 4 and then finally block 5 as i said it's all about mapping the long and short signals so i used buy entry and sell entry variable what i'm going to do here is i'll go and copy the buy entry variable and i'm going to remove the backspace over here for buy signal and i'm going to paste instead of entry long i'm going to enter the buy entry variable and sell entry i'm going to replace the enter short i'm also remove the comment so this is the coding block need to be done to remove the long short i mean to perform the long short signal mapping once the signal mapping is done right now if i save it let me show you the controls i'll add it to the chart first of all i'll i'll remove it over here i'll add it to the charts you don't see much of a difference in your code and uh, you should not see much of your uh, difference in your backtesting results ensure that your old backtesting results and new backtesting results are proper if it is not proper then we have to investigate what could be the reason right now if i go to the settings right if i if i go to the settings over here i'll be able to get my i'll be able to set the api key api secret key which broker i want to trade i can give a strategy name trading controls uh, trading symbol exchange quantity market order type is generally market order is what is highly preferred if in case we are using a trading view as an uh, for automation purpose and then product type you can select from here if in case if you want to execute larger order you can say yes and you can send the packet size let's say something like 1000 quantity you want to send so by default if you do, if you are trading quantity is small you can keep it no uh, the split order is a functionality given specifically for the traders who want to trade very larger quantities from algo mojo and uh, algo mode you can uh, by default is going to be enabled means it can trade both long trades also short trades also however if you want to trade only long only you can select long only if in case if you want to trade only short only you can select short only over here and uh, uh, also a trader can go and do the back testing settings if in case if they are starting a fresh day let's say today is like 19th so before the market start they want to trade they can set today's date before the market starts or uh, one day before the evening also they can set up and uh, the from month is going to be 12 and then uh, from year is going to be 2022 so any first trade it is going to take a trade it will be punching only one time of the quantity instead of double the times of quantity right so that is primarily used for uh, positional trading controls but intraday trading controls you don't need to worry too much about back testing you don't need to set the back testing controls also because first trade is always it's going to punch only one quantity only and there is an intraday control if you, in case if you want to convert the strategy into intraday with time based automation you can enable it if you enable automatically the position will get squared off by 3 o'clock and uh, if in case if you want to enable stop loss and target you can enable it let's say i'm going to keep an a fixed stop loss over here in terms of points or in terms of percentage or in terms of atr volatility based control so by default the atr multiplier is set as 1.5 and atr period is set as 20 and uh, by default anybody want to enable a trailing stop loss also they can keep a trailing stop loss trailing stop loss is provided in terms of percentage terms for example i'll say like 0.2 percentage or 0.1 percentage trailing stop loss is what i want to implement i mean uh, to this time frame 0.1 is a reasonable uh, uh, trailing stop loss level or maybe 0.2 or something 0.2 or 0.25 we'll make it like 0.25 0.25 uh, it could bring some reasonable trailing stop loss controls so all those controls are already uh, available over here so even a uh, 0.25 is getting very distance only maybe i'll adjust the trailing stop loss to something like uh, uh, 0.15 maybe so that it might get closer so 
it's recalculating yeah so the, the trailing stop loss the pink color lines are the trailing stop loss the green color one is the target and the red color one is the the red reddish orange is the stop loss controls right so any target is hit you'll be seeing the tpr sl and any fresh buy signal is there you'll be seeing and buy signal any short signal is there you'll be seeing a sell signal over there right that is how the trading system has been designed now once all the settings are done properly right go to algo mojo fetch the api key and api secret key set the api key and api secret key values over here okay api key and api secret key and select the broker in my case it is going to be angel 1 and the set the trading symbol let's say what the trading symbol if in case if you don't know you can always go to the dashboard now from the dashboard you can always go and get let's say bank nifty futures is what i want to trade i can go back and just type it in the search box and uh, something like you'll be able to see it from the structure over here so let's say bank nifty uh, 29 december futures 22 ut right you'll be able to get that symbol and uh, once the symbol is already there you can go here and then copy those symbol and add the symbol to the uh, trading symbol part remember the trading symbol could be different for different uh, brokers so go to your uh, particular uh, broker dashboard check whether the symbol is right or not once and uh, set the right exchange exchange is nfo for nifty futures and options and set the quantity as like uh, let's say in my case i want to trade four lots of bank nifty so i'll set the quantity as 100 and uh, it's going to be a pure intraday order so i'll select mas and uh, i don't want to enable any split over here because my quantity size is very small if in case i want to trade something like 5000 quantity or 6000 quantity maybe i have to enable the split order controls to execute larger orders uh, followed by that algo mode is enable Uh, ensure that back testing setting is done properly right it is a one time setting only for intraday as i said you don't need any such kind of controls but if you want a trading system to be positional but still you want to have target and stop loss then back testing settings need to be appropriately set it's a one time activity and then uh, finally once all the alerts are done press okay now it's time to create the alert i'll click on uh, add alert and from here what i'm going to do here is i'm going to give an alert name i'll say like bb uh, strategy automation i'm just giving a name to that and then followed by that here comes the most important uh, thing i have to remove all the messages in the message box section i'm going to add a placeholder a placeholder called strategy dot order dot alert underscore message if in case if you are not sure about placeholders you can always go and click on the question mark where you will be able to see the different types of placeholders one among them is a strategy placeholder where you can see that strategy dot order dot alert underscore message so this will try to fill a dynamic quantity over here so once the message is set the final one is like setting the notification so while going through the notification in the code itself in the algo mojo code itself at the top i had given a webhook url this is a webhook url which is used to place orders remember it is not a smart order any algo mojo module that you are using at this point in time uh, you can use a simple order feature right it, it closes the position whatever the quantity that you are giving it doesn't closes all the quantity from your open position for that you have to use play smart order so in this case in this module one should use only place order modules only so enable the webhook url for enabling the webhook url you have to be in a trading view a minimum of pro plan pro or pro plus or premium uh, at this point in time webhook url feature is not available in the free plan right once uh, all the settings are done properly messaging is done the place order is done notification webhook url is done and then press create so once you created you'll be seeing an under the alert section it might take one or two seconds to appear so once the alert is done now any signal which is happening instantly you will be able to see those orders instantly in your uh, trading account so the latency could be anywhere between 250 milliseconds to 100 uh, 1000 milliseconds a buy signal happened over here 
let's see uh, any bicycle which happened i can go and check in the order log section so under the order log section you can see that the order has been came already 100 quantity already it has sold means it's a uh, uh, fresh signals in this case so if any fresh signal is happening the alert will get triggered automatically remember uh, this kind of module when you are creating you should create the alert during the uh, before the market starts right uh, avoid generating uh, this trading strategy during the live signals because if exit is happening it will try to take an exit order so any time that you are uh, you want to pass the alert you can pass the alert from here right and you want to restart you can always restart but ensure that whenever you are restarting you are always restarting uh, when you don't have any open positions right and uh, already some uh, exit signal has been done so fresh signals are happening now so it can take fresh trades from here on so uh, and all those things you can uh, handle the manual orders and in case if you want a entry or exit you can always handle it from the position book if in case if you want to square off so all those manual controls are all already possible in algomojo all right so i hope this gives you a brief idea about how you can transmit or how you can convert any strategy with intraday controls all right so let me see you in the next video with more interesting feature thank you